Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. So today, as you see in front of you, it's two Bosch mid-drive motors. So this one is from my bike, which I've taken off the other day. This is the Performance CX line. And this is an almost an identical one, but it is the Performance line uh, without the CX. So uh, supposedly this one is a little bit less powerful than this one. So I actually happen to have a cousin in Amsterdam who owns a bike shop and while I was visiting uh, at the beginning of this summer I, he was gracious enough to uh, give me this motor because he did try to fix it at another shop but they couldn't fix it so uh, it's break and uh, the thing uh, he told me about Bosch is that the, uh, even if you are a, uh, aff an affiliated uh, seller of uh, Bosch e-bikes you do not make any repairs on the motors and they always require the vendors to send them the motor uh, for in order to fix it so it was gonna be expensive for him to send it and uh, get it fixed from Bosch and he uh, gave it to me and I did open it at the shop so this one I need for later just to tell you really quick the problem with this one i suspect because when i've opened it at the shop there was small electronic component on the pcb on the controller inside uh, which just as i was inspecting it i touched it with the screwdriver and the, the the small component was not actually soldered it was only soldered on one side like this and it's an smd and uh, it's an smd component and just as i was touching it to to make sure if it was making contact it flew off and i couldn't find it in the shop so uh, without knowing what it is, without Bosch providing service manuals or, or uh, schematics for their mid-drive motors or for uh, anything they sell, I don't suspect they provide service manuals anyway. The only way or the only hope for me to try and fix it is to open mine, check what was the mis missing component that, that flew off and uh, try to not ruin mine in the uh, uh, in the trying so that's gonna be fun but we are going to do it and uh, if for nothing we go we're going at least to see how it is inside and uh, how it's working I do need to take off this circuit. Yeah, I did not think of this because at his shop they they had circlip, uh, what did he call them, pliers. Uh, sadly, I don't have any of those. So that is a way to take off a circlip. All right, so we didn't damage the seal too much is great so that's the nylon gears which are almost in perfect shape on this one because he did tell me that this one is not uh, that old it's practically uh, very new with the, uh, if I remember correctly he told me it had 2,000 kilometers or something which is basically 20% of it's proje projected, I think, 10,000 kilometers or even more than that normally. So. And here we have the uh, inside. So basically that's the uh, controller. 
for the bike for the uh, for the lights everything basically runs through the motor I believe that this is the torque, torque sensor or uh, is it this one I, I don't uh, I don't know well it's one of those So finally that's the motor and it's a brass gear and those are the three phase motors which I've taken off at the shop and to, to show you where was it yeah it's it was right here there was a small component between here and here and I couldn't tell it was before it was something black like this so I couldn't tell right away if it was a diode, a resistance, some kind of capacitor, no idea really. So after that, if I manage to replace this, if I find it, I uh, still need, you know, to, to resolder the three phase wires and test it because apparently the, the original problem that it had was a uh, something to do with the uh, speed sensor and uh, hopefully uh, this has something to do with that so in any case i'm gonna put this one to the side and, and we have to work on the other one all right so this is not at all the recommended way to do this but lacking the tools you can only do so much but at the same time I will not bu be buying the tools for every special tool that exists for a job that you're gonna do one once or twice in your lifetime so all right so this one is much cleaner than the other one but that's normal because this one has not has never been opened and I'm glad to see that everything is okay all right okay let's we need to see the other side of this one okay we are we are constricted by the uh, phase wires so how are we gonna do this? I only need a small quick peek. Alright everyone, so after a lot of gymnastics, basically with the multimeter, I finally got to measure the missing component uh, from the good motor. And it turned out to be just a simple resistor. I measured 46 ohms and uh, the one I could found, which basically I just harvested from uh, another PCB, which I had laying around. It's uh, basically a 46 ohm resistor and the closest one I could find is, 50, is 51, but it shouldn't matter. Then I made another, another mistake, which basically I took off this, uh, this little pad right here which is actu actually uh, the connection from here to here and uh, this point right here goes to this chip over here on this leg so uh, instead of that I had to uh, put this jumper from this leg to this point right here the other side basically of the resistor and I've put it vertically instead of horizontally because normally it's connected between these two points all right so now now comes the uh, soldering back of this uh, PCB in place Alright, so sadly I could not get this one working, 
So basically I've put it back on the bike the first time and I've tested it. It still gave it in the error 500, which is internal unit error. It does not specify exactly uh, which uh, part of the controller has uh, an error or a defect. But anyway, also noticed something that uh, that was wrong with this uh, controller, which is basically uh, the it does not detect the speed sensor. Now there's usually a magnet that's attached to the uh, to the wheel to the spokes, and uh, each time that magnet magnet gets past a sensor. It detects the speed according to uh, a calculation about the circumference of the wheel, etc. Anyway, it does not detect that, so I thought maybe that these capacitors, basically I've traced the line which the input of the magnetic sensor, which is these two prongs. So this is ground, which basically you can detect anywhere on the board. And this is basically the signal. That signal comes through these three capacitors so i've tested mine uh, or i've measured the capacitance of those uh, of those capacitors on mine on the the good motor i've noticed that these two are not the exact same that are on the good one so i basically changed them to uh, similar values to to mine but even after that, after I, I installed it back on the bike, it didn't change a thing. It still does not detect the uh, the speed of the of the wheel. So that's basically a problem, uh, as well as whatever else is, was wrong with this one. I I'm afraid if it's something to do with these chips, there's nothing I could do about it. I will try to investigate a little more if I have time, but. Basically, uh, what I think of doing with this motor, because as you can see, they are basically similar. The motors, I mean, BLDC motors. I think they are exact, the exact same motors, and all the differences between the, all the models of the Bosch motors are done through software. In any case, so if you notice that this BLDC motor does not actually have uh, hall sensors installed, so all the Bosch motors don't use hall sensors. Instead, they use ma uh, magnetic angle sensor. So basically, under the under here on the shaft of the of the motor, there's a magnet. As you can see, the the, the screwdriver gets uh, attracted to it. So this magnetic angle sensor or this magnetic angle encoder gives the uh, signal about the position of the motor so that the controller could uh, could run it. I will try to get a VISC controller or uh, just it's basically an, op an open source electronic speed controller which you can do a lot of modifications to the software itself and uh, hopefully I could still use this magnetic angle detector encoder if it doesn't work with this one you can you can readily find them on aliexpress for example to mention just uh, one and other than that i think we have a good chance of getting this one working of course when i install a visc that means that i will install a throttle because the torque sensor and the, the cadence sensor will not be working anymore basically i will have to take this uh, motherboard out this uh, control out of the here out of here uh, I will extend the three phase wires as well as the magnetic angle uh, encoder and uh, control them from the outside so that's a project for the future I hope that it will work of course in theory it will and uh, yeah these motors are a lot of fun even though they are a bit noisy because when I used mine at first when I first got the bike I thought that I don't know maybe uh, the motor has more kilometers than the odometer showed but after opening it like I, like you saw it's very clean the plastic gears are in great shape if you are familiar with these uh, controllers or you, or if you have an idea uh, what the problem could be I'm, uh, i i will be very glad to know it other than that this was an inside look into the bosch performance line cx Hope you enjoyed, if you did please leave a like, always appreciated. Other than that you can subscribe and uh, until next time this was the Electron Age, bye.